Hey Jordan, this is Keaton Everett with ABC. You're going over your pitching video from camp. We're going to go through and talk about your motion and mechanics and sort of break it down frame by frame and, and, you know, get you to a point where, you know, you're using your body, getting a little bit more in sync. You know, for you, there's just sort of um, a little bit of hesitation, not as, as fluid. It's just a little bit jumpy, and we'll kind of go through and, and sort of explain that a little bit more. You know, just want to kind of get going, let that body work. You know, your, your um, initial sort of getting going is is just a little bit off, but it's not bad um, by all means. All right, it, it, everything's pretty solid for you, um, but I just kind of want to go back and, and talk a little bit about everything here. All right, so as you come set, all right, the biggest thing here. You know, one of the keys of mechanics is consistency, all right? So I want you to key in on where your hands go when you break, all right? So you get your hands break down here, all right? They actually break a little bit early on your glove right here. But you can see how that ball comes down. Here's the lowest point up here. So basically, you have all this distance to try to time where your hands break in relation to your body. All right, and that's a really hard thing to do. All right, if you can cut it down, it's going to make that timing a lot easier. All right, so once you get up to here, all right, your initial set, you should try to bump those hands down somewhere around here. So now you don't, you know, if, if, if your arm action was like a Billy Wagner, it comes out and gets up, I wouldn't have a problem with it because you're not, you know, you, you're trying to time this. But now you're trying to time this, so just try to cut that distance down. It's going to help you get more consistent and time you up a little bit more. All right, that's sort of an easy fix. So once you get rolling here, all right, with your hands down here, that's going to cause you to get a better timing, all right, because once we get to the height of our leg kick, all right, you're getting your hips are nice and closed, decent, is we want to have our glove break, our, our, uh, the ball come out of our glove, and we want to see our hips come forward first and lead down the mound. And what you see here is, you know, you get going with a little bit of momentum, but those hands don't really break until you're already getting going, you know, down the mound. So that's going to lead to inconsistencies, pushing the ball. Um, another thing, too, I want to key in on is, is we're going to mark our head. And you can see how you really drop down, really get low, you know, try to stay up a little bit more in your back leg, and instead of getting flexion, um, move back here. Here with your knee, try to get more, you know, movement, rotation sort of down and in with your knee while staying tall a little bit more, all right? So then for your foot strike, all right, right here, once that front foot hits the ground, which looks like we'll be about right there. Yeah, well, maybe your foot's still off the ground. Right here, we'll call it. All right. It's not too bad. All right. Lower half is pretty good. All right. If you if you draw a line from the back towards the catch, you can see you're a little bit open. All right. Which, again, you're young. It's a strength thing. Um, not too concerned about it. You have a pretty good angle here. That front side is kind of leaking out a little bit early, but it's not too bad, especially for your age. You know, that, that's pretty solid. And your weight's, you know, pretty pretty good. It might be on a little bit over your front side, but it's still over that back side a little bit. Um, so overall, this is a really solid position. Now we just got to try to get this closed off a little bit more with a little bit more drive the mound. You know, when you're getting going sooner, you know, you're going to get a little bit more closed off. You're going to pick up a little bit more height. Um, so then through the release point, what you see in here is you see a collapse in your leg. So you got a good base. You're open um, early, so that kind of takes away your hips and your legs. And so what I kind of want to key in on is I'm going to draw an arm path here. And so what you see through your release point is you can see your elbow, oops, is you can see your elbow drop. Tick forward again. All right, and now it's kind of coming up. And then you release you can see this this distance right here is pretty extreme between your elbow and your head. So you're pushing the ball. This is putting a lot of strain on your elbow. It's just not this is just sort of the sort of the the concept of, 
of you know arming the ball, not using your body. All right, we don't we wouldn't see this gap here if you're using the, all your body if you had the right timing. So at this point, what we want to try to get is here. All right, your elbow isn't going to drop; it's just going to kind of come forward and then down. You're going to take that ball and you're going to drive that ball downhill instead of you know drop it down and then bring it back up on that same path. All right, so through that release point. You know, we're going to see, so let's say this is about your release point. So instead of that back foot off the ground with your head behind your front foot right here, all right, you know, if you're thinking about power position, if you're thinking about, you know, if you're boxing, you know, you always want to have two feet on the ground when you're trying to punch somebody, uh, you know, same sort of thing with pitching is, is we've got to drive through that back leg. We've got to use that leg. So if we're doing that, we're going to see this angle right here. We're going to see our back foot still on the ground. We're going to see our head and our chest down over our front foot. And then what that does is that takes away that gap. So now we're, you know, our arm would probably be in about the same spot. But now we're taking away that gap. Everything's in sync. We're using our body. Um, you know, we're using everything that we can to get ourselves in a little bit more powerful position. And so then when, you know, we finish, that leg kicks up a little bit sooner. Um, and so it's, it's just that, that lower half. And, again, it's a big thing with kids your age. You know, it's, it's just so much a strength coordination thing. Um, but it's something you can work on. You can work on drawing a line from your back foot towards the catcher and, you know, just work on getting everything going in line, you know, just kind of use that left shoulder as a target or something, but just drive that left hip as long as you can, as much as close as you can, um, right towards that catcher as you, as you can. You know, it's just it's just a simple little thing. You know, everything else you got a good sense of for your age. It's good to see. Now it's just sort of those those couple key tweaks. You know, <clears throat> drop those hands a little bit lower. But the biggest thing is just direction for you. So, anyways, overall pretty good, man. Uh, thanks for making out to camp. Hopefully we'll see you again with ABC.